Hey guys, how you doing? Guess what? Sherry is back on the show and we are talking more healthy recipes. Yes, yes we are. What are you working on right now? Tell me. What I'm working on right now is on my YouTube channel, which is Vireo, V-I-R-E-O, Life, L-I-F-E. Right. Write that down. Go to that, subscribe. I've got everything on there from nutrition, intuitive eating, exercise, motivation because in fact Mondays every Monday I put up a Monday motivation video because we all know what to do it's a matter of are we doing it I ain't doing it you're doing a Who's lot of it in? no I'm lazy everybody, oh. everybody knows I'm lazy so if you want to be motivated subscribe yes. to her channel and what I've, else is on there? Okay, so I'm also doing on my book, Go uh -huh. Forward, 28 Days to Eat, Move, and Enjoy Life God's Way. Mm -hmm. So the last thing I'm also wanting to tell you about is on my Facebook page that I am doing different Facebook Lives in the garden, which is where this mint came from. So can we dive into the recipe? Fresh mint. Yeah, tell them about Fresh it. mint. Okay, so at the end of the summer and beginning of the fall, Mint goes crazy. It's so, it just takes over. So I'm like, what am I going to do with all this mint? Well, I love meatballs. I love Greek food. So mint meatballs is what we have mastered for this today. Yum. And yes. then we have a flatbread made out of quinoa. How did you, you made that yourself? Yes, made this myself because... I love that. The quinoa, the carbs in the quinoa are going to be different and lower than the carbs in other types of bread, other grains. So I take quinoa, make a flatbread, and we'll put this, okay, if we put the recipe yeah, below. Yeah, okay. Please. Yes, so we'll put the recipe below. So you just make the quinoa flatbread, and then take half of that, dehydrate it in the oven, and then chop it up in your blender, so and you got your bread recipes, crumbs. recipes, right? Yes. We'll do the mint meatballs, uh -huh. and then the quinoa flatbread down below. Yes. Don't forget to check that out. I'm so glad about it because it's, that controls the carbs, right? Yes. The yes. right, regular flatbread has tons of carbs. We don't want any of that. All right, let's do this. Okay. First step of this mint meatball recipe is to get our spaghetti squash in the oven because instead of serving over pasta, we're going to serve over spaghetti squash. And um, Jack has offered for me to try his cleaver today. <clears throat> this will be interesting, you all, because I've never used a cleaver before. We're going to try this. What I like to do with spaghetti squash is cut the end off first because then it makes it easier to cut through the rest of the spaghetti squash. So, Jack, you ready for me to try out this cleaver? Here we go. And so around and around and around. And, you know, you're going to have this cleaver. No, never mind. We're going with what I'm used to. Chef's knife. Here we go. Okay, so we've got the end off. Now we're going to start cutting around the squash. So it is cut now, which was a lot easier with his knife than mine. I will be investing in one of those knives. And now we're just scooping out the innards. We are now ready to get the spaghetti squash into the oven. Some olive oil squirted on the inside. And then if you have young kids, they love doing this. They take their hands in the oil and smear it all over the inside and the lining of the spaghetti squash. So now we flip these over, put them in the oven at 425 for about 45 minutes. So one of the adjustments I had to make for myself was right now I'm sensitive to eggs. Normally you would put eggs in meatballs for a binder. Uh, that is something that works for Jack. However, for me, I'm having to use a substitute. That means a tablespoon of flax meal for each egg. I would normally put two eggs in, so we're doing two tablespoons of flaxseed meal into the famous Tasmanian Devil bowl. And then about four to six tablespoons of water. And then we're going to let that become gelatinous, kind of like an egg mixture. This is fresh mint from my garden that I picked earlier right before coming over to film this. You can get fresh mint at the grocery store as well, but if you are growing some in a pot in the garden, use that as well. Gotten all the mint in here, now we need one cup of chopped mint. The onion for meatballs needs to be a little dry. So what we're gonna do is not chop it, but we're going to grate it in a large whole grater and then squeeze all of the water out with cheesecloth. There you go. 
Let's assemble these meatballs, you all. We have a pound of beef. We have the egg substitute, which is the flax seed, the mint and the onion, which is nice and fluffy. And then let's talk about this uh, quinoa flatbread. I'm using quinoa flatbread because it's lower carb, but also because pork rinds, which is what Jack and I talked about as a possible option, which would work in this. I grew up on a farm and something about watching pigs wallow around in the mud, I just, I can't do the pork rind thing. You can also do some coconut shreds. I tried that. It didn't have quite the same texture, but if you like the flavor of coconut with the mint, that works. So those are some options for you to add texture and body to these meatballs. Let's mix this up. Put the beef in, break it up. The supposed breadcrumbs, cup of mint, half a cup to a cup of onion, and egg, two eggs or your two egg substitute. And then here is the fun part. 20 meatballs is approximately what you should get from your pound of beef. And Jack has this really fun silicone mat that tells me where to put the meatballs. Meatballs are rolled in the oven, 425 for 15 minutes. Lemon zest for the spaghetti squash. We are heating up the butter with the lemon zest and lemon juice that then we're going to toss spaghetti squash into. Spaghetti squash, so simple to do. Just take a fork and put it in. Butter, lemon juice, and spaghetti squash getting tossed and ready to serve in the pan. Spaghetti squash goes in first. Meatballs on top. Mint meatballs with spaghetti squash. I cannot wait to eat this. Here we go. It'll burn myself, I know. I always do. Mm. 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 That butter lemon on the spaghetti squash is mm. amazing. That is so good. Wow, so good. Thank you so much, Sherry, for, you are for, welcome. for doing this for us, showing us how to make it all. Yes. Um, now, I'm, I'm going to have the links down below. Please subscribe to our channel. Yes. Please, show some love. Eh. And you had an offer for everybody? Go ahead. Yes, I do. If you want to find out how to overcome the guilt and shame of diets and get fit the sane way, I have a free offer for you that if you go to the link that we're going to put in, you can get that guide for free. All right. I will see you on the next episode. I love you guys. God bless.